Welcome to Mills Way. How you doing today? One more day and it's New Year's Eve. 2016's about done and I was talking to a friend of mine who's in sales and we were talking about the challenges of sales and helping others out. Well, we got talking on divorce and I don't know if you've ever been through a divorce. Uh, my divorce happened back in 2001. One of the toughest times in my life, besides my dad dying. And when you get divorced, it's kind of like you have these friends that you feel is really close. And you feel nothing can tear you apart. Then all of a sudden you get divorced. And people almost seems like they take sides. Like the friends are split up. And people that you hung around with before, all of a sudden you don't hear from them anymore. So that that's a sad thing, and, and that's what got us talking on friends. You know, you know, even the kids can get pulled away, uh, like parent alienation syndrome for your kids. Uh, that could who knows that could happen with friends too. So, we talk about friends, and, you know, before the divorce, we had moved around a lot with my job. My, my ex was a stay-at-home mom most of the time and took college classes. And, well, each time we moved for my career, we'd have good friends in the neighborhood, in the town, co-workers you work with. But then all of a sudden, you move away. And the friendship fades away. And, and yeah, that could be my fault too, not keeping the friendship going. But it seemed like we would visit, go to visit people, but people wouldn't come to visit us. Same thing happens with family too. You know, family would want us to visit them, but they wouldn't come visit us. Uh, in, what was it? Let's see. 30 years, I think my family came and visited two, three times out of 30 years. And I get back at least once to three times a year. So between friends and family, who do you really have that you can count on? I was, we were talking that in sales and, you know, people that you used to work with in the past, you thought were real good friends, but then all of a sudden they hear you're in sales or you're, you have a business or you're trying to start something and all of a sudden they don't want to talk to you or they don't have time or they don't return your calls or emails. It's really discouraging. I mean, I, in the past I've always had the belief to help out friends. I've loaned money to friends. I've let friends stay with me at my house. Um, I've always been a person to help out. I help out people if they need help moving. But then it, when it comes back around and when I sold insurance or I sold mortgages, all of a sudden you didn't hear people. I've had home businesses most of my life and you know I don't see my friends buying my products, visiting the websites. And they're not high-end products. So that's what got us talking on who is friends and do you really have real close friends? You have friends in maybe different times of your life that you count on. Um, we were just talking about, I think my best friend is my wife. You know, my wife... Currently, I got remarried, and my wife is the one I feel I could count on 100%. Anything I need, she's there for me. She's supportive. She's there. She returns calls, texts, emails. She'll buy my products. <laughs> but it, it's sad. Your other friends that, friends that you had from when you were 12 years old, that you think they're your close friends. But yet, even on Facebook, you know, you, you do posts on Facebook or blogs or this and that. 
But also when you post something to do with your business, there's no clicks. I've sold items that uh, sold for $4.97 to books that sell for $0.99 cents and still couldn't get friends interested. So, I don't know. Are friends friends? What is the definition of a friend? You know, it's sad what divorce does where you lose friends just by getting a divorce. But I think you lose friends too by when you move. Move to a different neighborhood, move to a different town. You had friends that you worked with that you felt were real close. Like back when I lived in Minnesota, I had these real close friends, I thought. And, you know, everybody was sad, you know, when you leave. And they say, oh, we're going to come visit you. Well, some of our friends came and visited us in Vegas once, but very few friends have came down to Arizona from Minnesota. And why would you want to be in Minnesota and Iowa this time of year, Illinois, with snow and cold? Here, Arizona's perfect. So again, how close of friends are they? We were talking about friends, my, me and my buddy the other day, and... Uh, you know, there's also those friends that you feel maybe used you. You know, when I worked for a grocery chain, I had a previous co-worker that was always, he went to another chain, and we'd always talk a lot. And I it was a one-way relationship. I would go visit him and his family, but they never came visited us. But yet, he was always calling, wondering about what was happening, and in our grocery chain but then all of a sudden when I move to Arizona then you don't hear from him anymore and then when I did some consulting sales trying to call these friends for uh, to see if they could help get this line in the grocery chains they were like too busy to pick up the phone return Texas I have another friend that's a professional golfer, and he goes back to the Midwest in the winters and comes back, and you know he, he even had a friend that he thought was real close and he helped him before, but he's having problems getting him to call or return calls, and he's kind of down about it. It, it is a bummer. <laughs> I wish I could say any different, so... If you have friends, keep nurturing those relationships and ask yourself how good of friends are they and what friends do I want to spend the most time with? Where do I want to invest my time? Because we only have so much time in the day. And, you know, those friends you lost from the divorce, if they left you because of the divorce, I wouldn't waste my time on them. If that's what they care about, you know, like, I I won't get into the whole divorce thing. That That's a whole nother video, but, but take a look at your friends and nurture your relationships that you feel are potentially your stronger, good friends. The friends that would stick with you if you were poor, that would stick with you if you moved away, that... Stick with you if you change jobs. That would stick with you if you got divorced. What friends do you have that you could count on like that? What friends do you count on that if you needed a place to live for a year, they would let you live? If you needed a car, they'd loan you their car. If you needed $1,000, they'd loan you $1,000. Who do you have in your life that you could count on that would do those things? To me, that's a really good friend. I mean... When I was helping this chain try to get lines in, I was looking at getting two UPC codes. If you're in the grocery business, you know two UPC codes is nothing. I could set 100 items in any grocery chain across the United States, find space. But yet all of a sudden, the friends are like, ah, we don't have space right now, or blah, blah, blah. Excuses. If I had somebody coming to me and I was in their position, I would make space for my friends. I'd get it on the shelf. Same thing if a friend of mine writes a book. I'd be buying their book or 
CDs or whatever they have. If their cans come knocking at the door, I would buy their products. So just something to think about. How good a friend are you to your friends? And what kind of people are you hanging around with? Are they real true friends? Again, your spouse, I feel, should be your best friend. And I'm lucky my spouse is my best friend, my true friend, and the one I can count on the most for anything in life. So I know this off-topic conversation. Normally, I like to talk about how to retire early and my experience of retiring early or semi-retiring early, as some people may call it. So please let, let me know your feedback, questions, comments. Follow me on patron.com slash millsway. And I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the good social media sites. So hope you have a wonderful rest of 2016. And we'll be talking to you in 2017 soon. Have a good night.